Hello, 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 people from the other side. Welcome to a new video, and this one is a review. Yes, it is, because a couple days ago, a few days ago or so, I went out and went to the 99 cent store. Kind of going there for some spicy soup that I like to have, that they often have there. And went like, oh yeah, that's right. There might be some good finds there for a good cheap price around a buck. Cause, and there was, like I thought, LA Colors Nail Polish was there. And I got two of these for $2 in some cents. Don't remember exactly, but that these two polishes, that's cheap for two polishes that are, oh, they're 13 milliliters. Wow, bigger than typical. Most polishes are usually 12. But yes, I'm gonna do a pink to yellow manicure. And I may do a stamp on top to see how they work. I, if you, if, if you've seen some of my way, way, way older videos, I have a video there that I did use some stuff. So I did do like a Dollar Tree kind of nail because these come at the Dollar Tree as well. Maybe some others. I just, maybe 99 cent store and Dollar Tree are owned by the same people. I don't know. Because these come from those like dollar stores. It seems like this is a very common brand to find. So I thought I'd try it out for you and see how it holds up for a whole week. Cause here we got this yellow color here the sunshine bringing the sunshine that is right oh these stupid containers being a annoyance to open at times how they like rip the back and the rip back stays on them if you if, if you know what i mean let me just poke it with something maybe i can poke it with this don't really need to poke it with anything that sharp just don't want to use my finger because my precious nails even though my nails are short right now so i'm in the process of regrowing them so this is going to be a short many of a review than like, like my last ones where they were on long nails still somewhat long but not as long as they were so yeah and i do have a video about that somewhat so uh, without further ado let's get into this and open up the pink which for some reason I recall is called lightning, which is very strange color to be called for it being pink and all that craziness. Yeah, mo most places don't put polishes in packages like this anymore. Like you go to Target and stuff, unless you're getting like a pack together, you, you just get polishes by themselves, even at drugstores. But yeah, let's try these two bad boys together and all that awesomeness and see how they do. Here we go with these two colors here. I'm gonna start out with these nice yellow, bright yellow, just like the bright pink. Open up that bad boy here to try it on. And here we go, putting it on. I already have my base coat on as I put this on. So that's ready to protect my nail. And here we go, it is very thin and see-through. So the thin doesn't always mean it's see-through, but it is what it is, and I don't want to keep it that way. So I put another coat, but before I let it dry, and I'm now putting on the second coat. And then you saw I kind of coaxed it on, and that's okay to do if you understand the polish. Sometimes that can be a little risky to do because polish dries pretty fast nowadays. So you don't want you want to work pretty fast because of that reason, and don't stand in one place for too long because you can start moving the polish as it's, it's slightly wet, and that can be very annoying. So work fast and try to understand how the polish works because every polish is different and how it's going to be put on. It doesn't mean it's bad polish. And now you can see as it's doing much better. Yes, the pink one next to it is much more see-through. You see the line more. Even though I have put two coats, you still see it, but I'm going to be stamping on them and try that out. So here we go. We're doing this first, putting on the top coat. So when I do stamp on top of it, there. Well, there we go. Here are my nails painted. I think I will probably do a stamp to try it out. There is a thing where it is kind of liney in a sense, where the polish moves or leaves little spots where you can see your nail more. It's hard to show it on camera, but I will, I'll show you what it looks like through in just a minute. But yeah, so not, not bad so far for um, just being very, very, very cheap. It's something if you want just a quick little fun thing to put some polish on, but it's nothing like, wow, 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 wow. I have always quite liked this brand and it's still in that like, it's, yeah, it's good for what it is kind of thing. We'll see how it is for stamping. So, and I do have a lot of skill in that. So I might get better results than someone, there's some of you that might be new to this because I might know the tricks of how to even make thinner polish work. We'll see how it turns out still, but here we go. Here I go. I'm now showing you the polish 
the light through from my light fixture on in the wall to give you an idea and yes the lines that i see on top aren't showing through in this way i'm not sure why i don't know if it's because it's lower because there is a spot on one of the nails like you can see right there where the light goes through it but for some reason the other way it does not so that is a problem because the polish is kind of thin in color so that has a problem with the pink one at least so the yellow one is luxury maybe ever so slightly better in that way so with that in mind, here I am going to try out these colors, like I said, as a stamp. And this is what I've decided to do is this one. I'm going to do this both in yellow and pink. And of course, I'm not. I'm going to put the yellow on top of the pink one and the pink on top. And you can see it's kind of there. So it did pick it up. And you're going to see what it looks like in a minute. And what's going to happen is you see the black things on there? Yeah, I didn't clean off my stamper very well before doing this. But that's okay. I thought it looked okay even with little pieces of black showing on it. So you can see some things there, but we don't fully see it because I am putting on a darker color compared to the top one. This one is more seeable because look what happens when I put it on in just a minute. It's thin and color-wise and stuff somewhat, but there you do kind of gives a contrast. So that is kind of interesting. So here I am in a, in a very light way putting on my gel-like top coat because that's the best top coat in my opinion to put on when you're doing a stamp so you don't smudge it at least not too too much so here it is well there we go for me using the pink and yellow from la color that i got at the 99 cent store the only thing that you probably can tell when i showed you the picture of my manicure done is i did add some black on top most of my nail reviews of polishes, I try not to add another color. Only the base coat and top coat do I add that's not from the same brand. But because I'm doing this as a stamp, I thought that'd be okay because I'm not using it as a topper. I could have probably added a sparkle because sometimes I do that and then I stamp. But then I thought maybe not because that would give it a, a layer of protection that I don't fully want to do so to at least wear this for a week but because these were a little like not showing that much fully on top of it with a stamp even though in hindsight i could have used these as my swishy swish technique kind of like the abstract if you've seen that where i take the brush and take off most of the polish and then you show you see the lines of the brush strokes and it varies for depending on how the, the consistency of the polish and how much is on the brush and then i do a few of those and i take another color and do a few of those that might have showed this polish better because when you stamp it does thin out the polish more so that's another thing and then they did have a blue which i did not think of until just now that i could use that as a stamping color because that's a nice dark color so it probably would have showed it even it would show to show the stamp i used better but for today i did a black so i'll be wearing these for a week and such but even though it's only been a day i did have some weirdness happen on my on my pointer finger here where it somehow left a hairline crack I think that's just a fluke. I don't understand why it did that. I don't think it has anything to do with how long it's going to last for. If you do it with these polishes, it very likely won't do that to you like it did it to me. I'm going to leave the hairline crack. I don't. It doesn't bother me too much, but it's like, made me wonder if I was going to have my nail crack down there, but it almost never cracked down there, but it's just the polish. So yeah, and if you, as you can see, if you haven't seen my other videos, I have my nails short right now. And I did a short little video of me fixing up my nails because this one broke so much. And I was coaxing this nail a fair amount. So that was, there was that. But then it got to the point where I just had to do it. Because it comes to the point where I like to try to get my nails as long as I can. Even though I keep them shaped and don't give them too, too long. But I do like to have them in nice length. But when the time comes to break, to cut them shorter, maybe not as short as the shortest one, depending on how short it gets. So, so they at least don't keep breaking and I never have any of the same length for the most part. So that's why you're not going to see short manis, like I said. So with this review, this is my first review of the year, even though it's just two polishes. And that, I think they're not too bad, even though they can be a little bit liney and something like a black does help that though. So with no further ado, I thank you for coming. I hope this has helped you at least help you find some cheap polishes. So if you have a 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, any of those kind of cheap places, you very likely can find this brand there. So if you just want some nice bright colors, I'm not sure what you're gonna get at yours because mine only had very little options, but it does vary because I've seen other ones where they have like sparkles and other things like even more to choose from. So if you have one of those kind of places, go there and see what you have and you can potentially 
get one of these and have some fun with some bright colors for not very much. So with all that, I thank you for coming to this review here and all that awesomeness. So till the next review of reviews and the deal that you can get so I can help you out. Cause you know, not all of us has that ching ching ching, -ching to pay for all of the nail stuff under the sun all the time. So it's good to find stuff that is in your price range so you don't get, get broke by just buying stuff like this. And this is one of those greatnesses. Yes, this one though is kind of gonna be up there in price, but it is worth it. But let's just hide that one for now because you are here for the LA color and this is a deal, so. Well, hello. This is me from a week later. We will get back to me from before introing you out, but I just wanted to put a little snippet in, at least on my takeaway on this is I don't know if I did something wrong or it was just me because it's, there is times when my nail polish chips in such a way that it makes me want to take it off. And because the LA colors are thin in consistency in the way they are, and they did get liney on the surface, even though it wasn't underneath liney when you went like with a light through it, I still felt like, and then it just made me a couple days later, take it off. So because it was just a couple days later, I didn't really think of showing you guys or anything. So that's my takeaway from LA Color. It's, I think most of the times I've used LA Color back in the day is it's fun colors for cheap, but they typically don't stay on very long. Sometimes they might. That might be why in the, back in the day I might have had problems with doing nails sometimes because I was using that brand a fair amount back in the day before I got more up there things. I was able to find better deals that weren't all like dollar stores and stuff like that. So I don't know. Back then, I wasn't as skilled as I am now, so there is that. I did make it work, like I said in, before, to stamping. It's just very thin for stamping, so it doesn't always show very well. Especially if the color underneath is a lighter color compared to what you put on top. But that's beside the point. All I'm going to say is, that is my takeaway from this review to you. Is I want to give you an honest review on my takeaway. Is have fun with some cheap polish. Just don't rely on it staying on very long unless maybe you just have that specific skill and it just works for you that specific time because there is times when certain things might not work for most people maybe and it works for you or something that just doesn't work for me works for you. So I don't know. All I know is that I've had experience with other cheapish polishes and they have been they have been much better and I haven't wanted to just take it off after a couple of days. And that's been my experience with most polishes I use nowadays when I try not to spend much on polish. And I don't spend much on polish, even though I have a handful of colors. So, on that note, there we go. Back to my week old self. On that deal of notes, thank you. Till next time, Swaggle Swaggle, bye!